Well, a lot's been happening with Deacon's character. I feel like we're, we're inching towards a reconciliation between him and Reyna, but I'm not quite sure. Can you sort of tease what's to come? Well, all I know is that for anybody that thought that the divorce was going to make things easy, um, it's not going to be easy. I don't think it's ever going to be easy because they're complicated. The love is deep and the memories are deep and it's all very strong, but we both got our issues. We both have our things we're working through. and. It's clear how much they love each other, mm -hmm. and, and that's always going to be right there. But I don't think it's going to be easy, and that's a good thing for the show, it right? It is a good thing. It's a good thing for us who watch the show. But we always have our moments, though, where it is just easy, no matter where mm -hmm. it is. Like, when she came to my birthday party, nobody would have thought she would have done that off the last episode. Right. But that just shows how strong it is, and then at the end, we just have that conversation where we're not fixed, we're not together, but we care so deeply yeah. about each other. Yeah, so I hope so. What about Deacon and Juliet? because I also like that relationship a lot. <laughs> well, that one's really evolved in a way that I, I don't think anybody could have mm -hmm. foresaw, where it started off so physical and just sort of, she wanted me in her band and just wanted me. And the, right. I mean, the meeting out in front of the Bluebirds up where I'm backed up against the truck, that's definitely Juliet. But what we came to find is that we're, we're there for each other in a million other ways. And uh, I love that relationship and the truthfulness that we give each other. We just lay it out because neither one of us is going to lie to the other. Well, I think it's a testament to your acting to have us as viewers wanting you with both Reyna and Juliet. So what do you think Deacon sees in each, each girl? Well, it's very different. I know that. I know that with Reyna, it, what he sees or what he feels or what he knows is she's just the one. I mean, I think everybody can relate to that feeling somehow, just that one. And that one doesn't, just because of the one doesn't mean it's easy, doesn't mean it always work, works out, timing right. is bad. So there's that. Um, he just admires her so damn much too, for all she is and all she's done. But, um, and all she's done for him. Right. Juliet, on the other hand, is maybe somebody that you would think being younger might need his advice, and he sure gives it out readily, but she's got some wisdom herself, and she knows where Deacon's broken and what Deacon needs. I mean, she, she stuck that dog on his front porch. That's the last it thing he adorable. wanted. the first thing he needed. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. So is the dog going to go on tour? And what else can we expect from the tour? Will Gunner and Scarlett join, perhaps? Well, I'll, well, I will say this about the dog, that I thought it was Deacon would have a dog, and it would always sort of be there in the background, like a guitar or something. But mm -hmm. the writers are better than that. This dog sort of leads Deacon to uh, meet somebody else. And, oh! Um, Another love That's interest for Deacon. Well, uh, I got a dog and he needs a veterinarian and sometimes they're pretty.